Hello everyone. Look, Kirsten's here. Hello. <laughs> Today we have came a little bit out of town because we are going to Roslyn Chapel. <laughs> now, we've drove because we're lucky enough to be able to, but uh, you can get a bus. It's the number 39. You get it straight from Princess Street on the same side as the shops. You've been hit by a car. There's, oh, I nearly got hit by a car. I'm surprised that I've actually stayed alive when Kirsten's not with me, because I genuinely don't look. Uh, yes, you get the number 39, same side as the shops, get on it, I'll take you right here, it takes about an hour. Um, but yeah, we got the car. There's also a train, I don't know the train, and there's also a um, cycle helicopter. path. Helicopter. Yes, Roslyn Chapel, it's on helipad. So let's go to Roslyn Chapel. Okay, Roslyn Chapel. Opening times, varying throughout the year. Right now, £9 for adults, £7 uh, reduced, and children are free. I don't have to pay. You're not a child. So we can just see over the wall there, there's Roslyn Chapel, or at least a little bit of it. But there is a proper visitor centre where, you know, you can visit in the centre. Tiny Christmas tree. <laughs> for tiny Christmases. You're outside the path. The path is leading us this way. You're on the outside of it. <laughs> There's a little model here that shows you how the chapel was built. And Kirsten's having a great time. Oh, well, there's a big timeline of the entire area, really. 1446 was when it started to get built by William Sinclair. Yeah, I knew that already. And then 1450, I think, was when William Sinclair died. So they stopped building it from there. Oh no, sorry, 1484 was when he died and then they stopped building it from there because they think he was going to do a lot more work but he died so then work stopped but he's um, buried in here somewhere as well. Henry VIII's rough wooing, I don't know what that is but it does not sound fun. So Walter Scott visiting here. I'm sure Rabbi Burns visited here at some point as well. That's the restoration work of it. It's a bit hard to see because of the light behind me. Sorry about that. Da Vinci Code, which is how everyone probably knows the place. Please have your tickets ready for inspection. Oh no. Oh no. Because they noticed there are signs. There is no photography or filming inside the chapel. So I can show you around about it can't film inside it, sorry about that. It does look exactly like when you're going to give Merlin a treat. He's so polite when he takes a treat though. Kirsten just noticed that these carvings, which are obviously the same as gargoyles and things have got on, this is how they make them. So they've got them in various stages, so that's the first outline of it. That's it a little bit further on in development. And that's it complete. Here we go. That's this one's saying to use the binoculars to look at the wonderful carvings. Someone stole it. Someone stole the binoculars. <laughs> so, while Kirsten's over there taking pictures, we couldn't film anything on the inside. You're not allowed to. There's no filming, no photography, no nothing. Um, it's a shame I can't show you it, but um, and another way is kind of nice because you know you get to come and experience for yourself without seeing it on a camera. It's stunning. It's beautiful. The art, the carvings and statues in there are incredible. We were lucky enough as when we got in there. Two minutes later, a talk started, um, and uh, the guide was brilliant. Did an excellent tour, um, very well paced and clear to understand, and told some incredible history. Um, wasn't the tour good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was brilliant. Really interesting. Learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. <laughs> Every day's a learning day. So we're going to have a look around the outside. It has an incredible history. They were telling us that it's unfinished. Um, the Like I started to say earlier, I was close but not quite right. The gentleman who Sinclair who started to build it, he wanted to turn it into essentially a bit of a mini cathedral. Unfortunately, when he died, he had 18 children. One of his uh, sons inherited it, 
continued building for two years, but really just to make it to the point where it was functional. Didn't continue on with his dream. Um, it's got quite a history of being attacked. Roslyn Castle is near here somewhere, or the ruin of Roslyn Castle is near here. The whole family left. Um, it became a ruin for a long time. Um, it would get visitors. I'm not going to go into the full history because I only just learnt it and I can't remember it all. It would get visitors at various points, but Queen Victoria was actually the person that stumbled across, across it when she was young, fell in love with it and said, right, we need to do something about this and save it. So that's when it actually started to get renovated and get some work. It had no windows for a long, long time, for hundreds of years, and the dampness and everything in there, it started to get really degraded. And we're talking the 19th century, so 1850s-ish, I think, mid-1800s. The restoration work at the time, believe it or not, was to make essentially a concrete paste and start to concrete everything. So all the inside is a funny grey colour. Let me see if I can find a bit of the colour it should actually be. It should be a sandstony colour, which should look more like this here. So it should be all this sort of sandstony pink colour, and unfortunately it's all a kind of grey concrete colour instead. But less of me talking, let's show you. Originally, up to here, that the roof of that is about 40 feet, she said. Originally it was going to have a tower that was 80 feet, so double that was originally what she said it was going to have. It almost does kind of look unfinished, doesn't it? I know it said it's been attacked a few times. Like, it looks like there. Some of that looks like it's, some of it's broken off and just disappeared. Beautiful statues here. Now, the original design of it was going to be a cross sort of design. Like I said, they just stopped building it. He got it to the point where it was kind of um, functional and then just stopped. So you can see that this probably, in the original design, would have came out, but it never actually became that. This is all it ever became. That that definitely looks like that would have been. Yeah, I'm guessing. I'm purely guessing. However, look at that. As I back out, hopefully you'll get a better look. Some of the details on some of these bits are just incredible. You can see it that bit over there. There's like, I don't know if it's like an original roof. You see it at the side. I appreciate their fence. That is a nice fence. And Kirsten just pointed out to me as well, there's a lot more of that sandstone colour, which should be what it is. But you're right, that part there that you're saying, that does look like it was an original roof. That diagonal yeah, right there does. definitely does. Now apparently as well, since there have been a few battles here and things, there is some musket shots on the outside, so I am searching for them. They definitely saw some on the inside, but obviously I'm not allowed to film in there, so... If you see them, you know, tell me. There was a small section as well that we were allowed to go underground in it. What I'm guessing is this bit here, because we kind of went under the altar here, and then down. So I'm guessing that's where it led to because it had a window. However, there's a lot more underground apparently that you just can't go to. But I'm guessing this bit is the bit that we went to. The Da Vinci Code. The Da Vinci Code, <laughs> secret door. That's where they keep it. So yeah, so I'm guessing this was the underground area, which actually when you look at it from the outside doesn't look as much underground, but you know, there's good, because they said that underneath here there's family vaults and things as well. Definitely wasn't in that part, so it must be underneath the main part. It's a shame as well because we were saying the stained glass windows here, from the inside they look incredible, don't they? Yeah, they're really pretty. But from the outside you don't really get much. So that's why you come, you pay your money, you help them fix it. What's the word? Renovate? No. Restore? No. Reenact. I don't care. <laughs> conservation same as animals conserve um, but 
they were saying as well, it's a registered charity, Roslyn Chapel Society, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's a registered charity to um, just restore and keep it maintained. And you pay to get in, it's a non-profit making, obviously, charity. All the money you pay to come in, or anything you buy in the, the shop, goes to restoring the church, uh, chapel, sorry. Um, and it's actually beautiful. It's really well worth a little visit. They said that for a long time they were struggling to try to get the funds to restore it and then obviously the Da Vinci Code happened and everyone discovered the beauty of Rosalind Chapel and now it kind of helped save it, genuinely did. So whatever you think of the book and the film, it helped save this. How scary is that face? That is an that angry is face. Scary. It almost looks like he's got like a snake or something coming out of his mouth. Like torture. Like vine though, if you look up, there's like the plant. Oh, it's a thistle. Is it a Scottish thistle? Oh, possibly. Another gargoyle out the front. What's the story with gargoyles? They're supposed to scare off bad um, spirits. spirits. Yeah, scare off evil spirits. And that's why they look so scary. They're supposed to be like, don't come in here. <laughs> the more I look at this, you're gonna get me rambling now, I apologize. Kirsten, it's used to me rambling. Yeah, it's a bench. <laughs> uh, so the more I look at it, and they've said the bits got added on slightly later, but the original design was across, and uh, excuse me if I'm stating the obvious, but like I said, these bits that are sticking out are on both sides. So let's see this part here. This part here sticking out, it was the same on the other side I showed you earlier. Yeah, I think that was going to be the outside of it. Yeah, he's passed away. This should have came out further and then back in because you can see that that is all definitely earlier looking at the build of it. That would have been inside it and then it would have went up here again. Does that make sense to you? So this outside wall would have then continued up here, went back down and then went up and finished it off like a cross shape and then the same on the other side. Hopefully that makes sense. Because that, just if you look at the stonework between the two different types, that definitely is of a different era. Other things that they were saying in the tour as well, obviously it's got a lot of possible history with the, with the masons and things as well. So there's lots of bits in there that can be interpreted in a few different ways. Yeah? <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy concentrating to get a picture. You know what else? It's March, it's the middle of March right now. Snow on the ground. Snowed yesterday. Covered in snow. So a lot of you say, can you tell us what the temperature's going to be like? I have no idea. It was the middle of March yesterday and it snowed. <laughs> After listening to the talk as well, you can definitely see that it is just, it's a shame. It's unfinished. That should have been a massive, massive steeple of about 80 feet. And you can see it's just stopped. They just stopped. The most important thing that Kirsten would like to point out to you is there is a chapel cat that lives here. Seemed to sleep through the entire talk. Keeps away the mice. got these little information pods where you can press a button and learn more and it's like in this little soundproof pod and Tony has the tallest one because he is a giant. <laughs> Do you want a fancy dress? You could get into that. It's got a lovely little visitor centre as well with a cafe and like Kirsten was showing you the bits where you can learn about the history and get a gift and remember. It's non-profit, so all the money goes to the restoration of the chapel as well. Oh yeah, there's the one we were talking about. Uh, it doesn't actually explain that particular one. 
Oh, that one. I missed that one. Do you want a William now? I do. Oh, that's so lovely. They've got like a book and everything. It's quite interesting. They've got Christianity sort of symbols, but also Mason symbols as well. Because obviously the history is very divided. Various Roslyn um, gins and whiskies. And there we have it, guys. That was our little day visit out to Roslyn Chapel. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it was lovely. Um, I think a lot of you have said, can you go to Roslyn Chapel? So it was, it's well worth a visit. Um, how long did we spend with there? About an hour and a half? An hour and a half. It's quite cheap actually, £9 for... Yeah, and children going free, so that's yeah. good. It's not expensive. It's and since all the money goes to the charity of restoring it, you, it's actually really quite a good deal. Shop's nice as well. Nice wee cafe. Um, like I said, the bus would take about an hour to get here. So an hour here hour and a half ish and mm -hmm. then an hour back so it's, it's an afternoon's visit but yeah you know you know the the normal bit guys uh, like uh, leave a comment subscribe but till next time bye, bye humans, humans.